guys uh, welcome to tech gadgets uh, today i'm going to show you kawasaki ninja 650r uh, flat tracker uh, and river rat cycle fab so you can see uh, how uh, they have built the custom bike uh, it's looking awesome and uh, this american flat track race series uh, edition was made uh, to kill uh, two birds with one stone uh, why not build a custom worthy for the race track and a race bike worthy for being a custom piece of two wheel art so why not indeed uh, starting out with the fresh 650r power plant uh, uh, they have worked in all neat little modes and uh, it, they have changed everything and uh, 650r mill from a less than arm jerking 67 hours power and pumping it upwards of triple digits the internals to do this are no simple off shelf parts a majority of these uh, one of the custom parts uh, come from the likes of cp carillo mega cycle and kibble whites uh, they are custom built to mac modified top secret formulas calculations and years of experience building some of the nastiest ama pro road race bikes and drag bikes so some they are looking for some of the different uh, traditional chassis uh, would offer a few more options with geometry space for different air induction setups and a low center of gravity wanting a good strength to weight ratio so perimeter backbone frame out uh, of the c and j camp led by famed frame builder and the welds and bends of the chromology tubing were pure art with all brackets and holes lining up perfectly you can see yeah uh, wanting to get the best handling and functioning suspension to take uh, whatever the dirt or limestone cushion would throw to us on the track uh, they built us a shock and forks that would give us the proper rebound and compression adjustments and this would keep the wheels on the ground and provide a ride that would not beat a racer up and wear them down before the end of uh, the uh, 25 lap battle and uh, So set of Honda F4i forks that they applied uh, their special works package on which includes an AK24 cartridge and special preload adjusters suspension is totally smooth with very little stiction and is greatly improved uh, lap times and rider confidence max has been a technical wizard casting his theory teaching us uh, giving a sage on direction setup so let's build our own tank some things to consider with tank design on a flat track race bike is that sleek and aerodynamic is there enough fuel to finish a 25 lap event on a mile track do you have enough clearance for the rider to be able to tuck in lastly is there enough clearance between the triple trees and a gas tank to able to turn the front wheel at extreme angles for sliding and to battle a nasty tank slapper so in that uh, model tank onto the frame using empty quart and half gallons oil bottles to lay in model and they got an idea that the capacity the tank would hold uh, that was some real rocket science right there and uh, they transferred everything to wood cut into all out and made a buck to build it next they got a uh, 3003 aluminum sheet uh, cutted into pieces rolled and shaped them to fit and wooden buck for this bike and uh, oem fuel pump to keep things clean and tidy it mounts right inside the tank so there would be no need for a messy external pressure regulator inline fuel pump and excessive fuel lines and wiring choosing to run the perimeter frame also allowed them to add a big fuel sump or to the bottom of the fuel tank that sits down in the frame rails when the tank is fitted to the chassis and the, with the panels all cut and laid out into the position uh, you can see uh, the the uh, rod into melted aluminum puddle fusing the tank into one unit and welding uh, done and uh, they brushed aluminum finish also next they pressured water tested the tank to confirm the welds were good and tank was properly scaled and they were very happy in the end result is uh, fine and uh, normally they have built uh, their own exhaust uh, but lo- looking to improve the bike performance uh, in contact with some of my connections uh, throwing ideas around and feeling them for some of the big power house knowledge uh, they found that the flat track was a new market for them apparently they are exhaust builders for the new factory uh, race uh, bikes so after months of uh, talking back and they are um, collaborated with the senders and built this one and two 
stainless stepped pipes that have music to ears on this engine. So you can see how they are looking and being uh, with a custom shop, uh, they build uh, the rear brake hanger, battery box, handlebar, pullbacks, foot peg, brake and shift lever. Um, we, and they have cutted the 6061 aluminium right here at River Rat Cycle Fab and the custom shift lever gives the rider quick easy shift with the standard pattern. And the biggest head dock of the whole uh, build was taking OEM Ninja 650R wiring harness and uh, dissecting it making all the proper cuts in proper locations and then eliminating 85% of the harness uh, adding resistors in the right spots and joining the proper wires together was a real big uh, uh, task for them and uh, these are uh, fuel injected bikes so imagine the ECU relay sensors and switches it takes to build one for Kawasaki now imagine taking all that and converting it into a race only it was truly hard to do job and in a whole week of nights at, uh, in the uh, shed uh, they all did that it is very rewarding to know that uh, Kawasaki Ninja 650R wiring system uh, has just re it and then uh, they were done and you can see the beast uh, tip roaring around America's dirt racing tracks in the American flat track series at speeds over uh, 130 miles per hour. It's just a man and a two wheel machine, no cages, no seat belts or harness. Uh, so this is how the customized bike looks. So hope that guys you like this video. Please comment and subscribe for my channel for more tech and auto related updates. Thank you.